Hey, this is Presh Tallwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. Here's a fun Math Olympiad practice problem. Start with the circle. Draw a chord with a length of A. Then draw a perpendicular line segment to the interior of the circle with the length of B. Then draw a perpendicular to this line segment with a length of C. It touches the circumference of the circle. The problem is to solve for the radius r in terms of a, b, and c. I thank Mirza for suggesting this problem, and I admit I did not solve it. So I also thank Mirza for sending me a solution. This problem is harder than it looks. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So how can we solve this problem? We're going to draw in some line segments so that we can use some well-known properties of circles. First, we'll extend this line segment to a length of A. We're then going to extend it to be a chord of the circle. And by symmetry, this line segment will have a length of C. Next, let's extend this line segment to be a chord of the circle. We don't know this length so we'll label it as the variable d. Now here is one chord of the circle, and here is another chord of the circle. So by power of a point, or the intersecting chords theorem, we have the following expression. b times d is equal to c times the quantity a plus c. We can now use this formula to solve for the unknown value of d. We divide both sides by b to get that d is equal to c times the quantity a plus c all over b. Next, we need to figure out some way to calculate the radius of the circle. The way we can do that is by drawing in this line segment. The line drawn is opposite a right angle inscribed in the circle, and therefore it must be a diameter of the circle with length 2r. Now we can use the Pythagorean theorem a squared plus the quantity b plus d squared is equal to the quantity 2r squared. And at this point, we need to use algebra to solve this problem. So we first substitute in d is equal to c times the quantity a plus c all over b into this Pythagorean theorem formula. We're next going to put everything in terms of the denominator b squared, so we have a common denominator. We're then going to expand everything out and write it as a single fraction all over b squared. Now, how are we going to simplify this expression? Well, look at the first four terms in this expression. We can factor out a b squared, and we get the following four remaining terms. a squared plus b squared plus 2ac plus c squared. And this will simplify to be b squared plus a plus c, the quantity squared. Now we can do a similar thing for the next four terms. If we factor c squared from these, we actually get the same resulting factor. So we have c squared times the quantity b squared plus the quantity a plus c squared. Therefore, this all simplifies to be the quantity b squared plus c squared times this common factor of b squared plus the quantity a plus c squared all over b squared. And this is equal to 4r squared. So now we're ready to solve for r. We can divide both sides by 4, and then we can take the square root. Now since r is positive, we only need to consider the positive square root. So finally, this is our formula for r. It's the square root of the quantity b squared plus c squared times the quantity b squared plus the quantity a plus c squared all over 2b. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. These math videos, which can be watched for free on YouTube, inspire and build confidence for people around the world, and they already have over 100 million views. Please subscribe for free to get the newest videos, and email me a puzzle or a math topic, presh and mindyourdecisions.com. If you so choose, you can check out my merchandise, which is listed on Teespring. You can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon for exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.